Richard. So, you've got a number of tattoos. How about if you describe to me what they are? Um. Well, that was my first tattoo. Actually, that's not my first tattoo. It used to be a heart. <laughs> A little tiny thin heart but uh I thought it was kind of goofy that I had a, a heart so I put an iron cross on top of it um that was supposed to be a dragon like a D&D &D dragon but that's how the guy made it it looks kind of funny and I didn't know that it was the guy's first tattoo he'd ever done so I kind of made him stop Where'd you get it done? I got that at a uh, Stewart Camp in Carson City, Nevada. Now, what about your fingers? Uh, skinhead. Yep, just skinhead. <laughs> How old were you when you got that? Would you be willing to like hold them up so I can see your face with them? <laughs> what? You're gonna put wanted on it? <laughs> Yeah, that's not really not our intention. Actually, I I can't really say who I was hanging out with, but we all got tattoos, and those are the ones I got. Those and lightning bolts on my face. Schustoffel, the Hitler's elite. That's what that means. And usually those are things you got to earn. You have to do stuff to get those. This is auto 88. Which means? Um, well, the 88 represents David Lane's 88 precepts. And auto is my moniker. Did I said that right, moniker? Yeah. My nickname? Auto. I used to steal cars. Yeah, so you told me. <laughs> I guess I was alright at stealing cars. Concerning when someone's got a lens pointed at you. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a fan of it myself, so I can sympathize. We're almost done. Alright, I know you have one that's on your back of your neck. I would love to see that one. Uh, ladies love outlaws. <laughs> She's gonna get a quick picture of that and then we will be. You told me before, but how about you tell me the story again about the swastika? The one on my chest? Yeah, the one on your chest. Um, actually, when I saw the movie American History X, uh, Ed Norton kind of had a really cool one on his chest. And um, that's what gave me the idea. But I had a name on my chest, and I didn't like the letters. When the guy drew it out for me, he was like, yeah, that's cool. And then after I got it, I was like, man, why did I do that? I just messed up. And so uh, I had to cover it up. And that was how big it had to be to cover it up. And what about the other pack? That's Dolph. Hitler. That's yeah. Hitler. <laughs> you got that one in prison? Yep. Where? Um, NSP. If I had to stay prison, Carson City. <laughs> now, earlier you said you were a white supremacist. Yeah. Would you say that? Yeah. Who would you say you're a white supremacist now? Not really. What do you mean, not really? We're supposed to stay together and feed off each other and make our brothers stronger by doing better. Um, it seems like every time nowadays that I run across another 
skinhead, they're usually some kind of weird piece of shit. That it's not about doing drugs, it's not about running around robbing people, it's not about stealing things, it's, it's about doing what's right.